Hi and welcome to a very special edition of BrewTube. I'm very excited today. We've got some beers direct from the CERN in Switzerland. These were brewed in the Particle Collider using heroin, crack, meth, everything under the sun that should be mind altering. Okay, that's completely not true. <laughs> this is internet first people. You won't find any reviews about these beers on YouTube on the 9th of February, 2024. So these are hot off the press, cold out of the fridge, coming for you today. These are beers from Collider and they are mind boosting. I'm gonna tell you all about it, how they brewed it and what they've used. First of all, I'm still going on with this whole like dry January. It's uh, been an extended journey. This is really annoying, it's not gonna stick. Sorry, I had my hand doing some uh, plumbing. <laughs> Say it three times, Nick, you are not a plumber. So yeah, I haven't been drinking beer throughout January and this has now carried on a little bit into uh, February. I'm actually feeling a lot better now. It's taken me much, much longer than I have done in the past when I've done a dry January. I'm now feeling I'm actually like sort of completely off. So it's taken a good month and a bit. Some people have recommended in the comments one of my other videos where I'd reviewed 14 different alcohol-free beers to try the Heineken. I haven't tried the Heineken Zero yet, but I'm looking forward to that. I have, however, tried a lot of the Brulo, which I wasn't be reviewing today. And because the Collider's turned up, I'm very excited to be trying these ones. I'm going to review the Collider first. Spoiler alert, the Brulo beers are they respected the cold chain. I made the order, they've shipped it. It's arrived this morning, still cold. So fresh out of the box, I'm gonna try these beers. Now, they say that they are infused with adaptogens and mushrooms. So just reading some of the blurb off of their website, they're using a proprietary blend of adaptogens, L-theanine, which is tea, lion's mane, and ashwagandha root. And these are all mood boosting compounds, supposedly according to science. Nice touch on the website. They also then have a few playlists so you can listen to that, sit back, relax and unwind. And all without the alcohol. All right, let's get into the science of this. So the compounds that they're using, these three compounds that they're using as their proprietary um, adaptogenic um, formula, L-theanine, which is tea, According to scientific studies, this is going to increase alpha waves, promote serotonin production, and reduces cortisol. Lion's mane is going to promote nerve growth and reduces inflammation. Ashwagandha reduces cortisol again and promotes GABA production. And they do state that these compounds are more effective than CBD. If you're interested about any of this stuff, you can read a lot more about it from the website and obviously Google can tell you anything. I bought their box, which included a lager and a pale ale. Let's get into this. I'm very excited to try these. I hope you're enjoying this video. And if you are, please hit the like button. First up, I'm gonna be trying the lager. Just opened it, did the magic three taps in the can and it still exploded everywhere. I'm not sure if that's just active carbonation or if it was the fact obviously just having been delivered it was got a bit, uh, a bit shaken up. I'm not reviewing the Brulo beers today but I thought I would use their glasses. It's a nice colour. It's a, uh, a darker colour. Would you call that sort of a golden amber? Um, yeah, but um, it's a nice colour. Good and clear, very clear in fact. It smells delicious. It's, um, there is a, a maltiness, like a malted barleyness. There's a uh, yeah, a maltedness, a vanillariness. Smells slightly sweet, but um, it's very promising. Going in for a first sip. Yeah, that is very enjoyable. Slightly spiced, um, maybe slightly sort of cinnamon, 
nutmeg, something like that. Yeah, there's a slight sort of earthy quality. Maybe this is coming from the lion's mane. Mm, there's a bit of woodiness there. It's quite light on the body. There is a wateriness, it's quite thin as well. But that said, the initial flavors are very, very nice. It starts off very nice, just from the aroma. The initial flavors are very, very nice. There's the, uh, the spiciness, the woodiness, but it does finish a little bit on the thin side. Um, there's a nice sort of lively carbonation on your tongue, it sort of feels a bit sort of, uh, a uh, bit fizzy in that, but um, yeah, I'm enjoying it a lot. And all of this will improve my mood. I hope you're enjoying this video, and if you really are, hit the subscribe button. Secondly, the Collider Session Pale. This again is a 0.5% beer. It smelled amazing when I opened it. It was an absolute gusher. <laughs> Um, there's about half a glass left, um, probably half the can just sprayed everywhere. <laughs> I'm not sure again if this is due to, that's down to the active carbonation or the fact that they got a bit agitated uh, um, in transport. Keep your beers well refrigerated and maybe just wait a little bit before opening them like I did. So as you can see it's a lovely golden colour. Um, it's yeah very very clear again. Um, yeah, it's a dark straw, sort of dark straw, straw sort of type colour. Um, it did smell amazing as it was pouring. It smells amazing in the glass. It does have that vanilla aroma to it again. Smelling slight sort of sweet again. Yeah, it's a nice beer again. It's not my favourite one. It's fairly bitter right from the get-go. does have some fruity hoppiness, maybe like a sort of stone fruit, but the bitterness, it's not overpowering, but it's sort of ever present. A little bit of spice and woodiness, there is just that bitterness always there, um, and a little bit earthy as well. Quite light on the body, and it finishes a little thin. It's still a nice beer, and obviously I'm interested to see how this uh, uh, mood bursting effect might actually like sort of take hold. So uh, what I may then do is a little uh, sort of follow up review um, in a couple of weeks and just see how, uh, see how I'm feeling. <laughs> okay, that's your lot. Those are the beers from Collider. Probably not my favorite beers in terms of the flavor, but there may be more positive effects from drinking these beers. So I'd be interested to see how that goes. I bought the 12 packs, so I've now got five of the lager and five of the session pale to get through. So who knows, maybe by the end of all that, I'll be just super chilled out, feeling really happy and uh, there'll be some positive effects on my body, even more so having done dry January. I've done a fair few videos about non-alcoholic beers and I'll pop a link up there. Um, I also did a whole saga through January of Shorts um, Dear Dryery, and I'll pop a link up there as well. So please do watch those, I hope you will enjoy those. It does have that vanilla, it, it does have that vanilla flavour, it does have that flavour, ah. <clears throat> hope you enjoyed this, and see you again here soon.